Hello everyone, my name is Matt Miller, and today I'm going to be presenting an informative speech about my hometown of Rome, New York. The reason I chose Rome, New York is because I was born and raised and has lived here all my life. And many people don't know this, but there's a lot of historical events and historical background that helped shape Rome to what it is today. I started reading and researching these topics, and there was even events that helped shape the United States to what it is today. One of the events that I found was that Native Americans came here and settled in upstate New York in the territory where Rome is today. The reason they came to Rome was because it was centrally located and it created a vast trading route and helped shape a lot of commerce to take place in New York. Another fact I found was the famous Patriot soldier who was an outgoing Patriot during the American Revolution, Paul Revere, who was known for his famous quote, the British are coming, the British are coming, came to Rome, New York in the year 1801 to start Rome's first brass and copper works. The reason this is significant is it was the first brass and copper works in New York State and helped shape the industry for brass and copper across the country. This is also still significant because Revere Copper is still in business today and is one of the thriving businesses in Rome, New York. If you've ever been to Rome, you've seen the famous mural of Paul Revere riding his horse with an American flag in the background. This mural is painted in one of the downtown buildings in Rome, New York, and if you're a Roman, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Another interesting fact I found was a man by the name Jesse Williams started the first cheese factory. This cheese factory was inaugurated in Rome in the year 1851 and helped boost dairy production to what it is today. Jesse Williams is honored in Rome by having an inaugural monumental plaque located on Fish Hatchery Road located in Rome. He also has a street named after him named Williams Road which I live very close to. Another fact I found was a man by the name Francis Bellamy, who lived from 1855 to 1931, was born and raised and was also buried in Rome, New York. If you're not familiar with Francis Bellamy, he is the man that created and wrote the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance is known by many American citizens and is used in schools and workplaces on a daily basis. In order to, in order to honor Francis Bellamy, we created a monumental gravesite with a lot of American and patriotic symbols located on it. We also named a school after him, Francis Bellamy Elementary School. Another man that played a significant role in the development of the United States was Frank Potter. Frank Potter was a man who lived at the Beaches Hotel, which is located on Potter Road, also named after Frank Potter. Frank Potter was essential in the invention of the two-piece telephone. The two-piece telephone helped shape the telephone to what it is today. Another man who played a very significant part in the development of Rome, New York and the United States was British General John Stanwix. John Stanwix ordered for Fort Stanwix to be built in the territory where Rome is located today in the year of 1758. This was during the French and Indian War. This fort played a very significant role in the French and Indian War. A remake of Fort Stanwix is located in downtown Rome, it is almost in the exact location of the original Fort Stanwix. This fort attracts tourists and many people who want to learn about more about the history of Fort Stanwix to the city. If you've never seen Fort Stanwix, I recommend you seeing it, and if you cannot see it, look at a map of Rome from above. It is very easy to spot. Another very interesting fact is the first shovel of dirt that was dug for the Erie Canal was dug here in Rome, New York. This opened vast trading routes and helped shape trade through the Midwest and created commerce from the East Coast all the way to the Midwest. The Erie Canal Village helped honor this uh, Erie Canal and shows the history behind it and shows their, where the canal was actually built and how it was built. Another man that played an essential role was John Dove. John Dove played an essential role in the invention of the CD-ROM. The CD-ROM was invented in Rome Labs, and this created for vast population move to Rome, New York. Rome Labs helped create more commerce and a lot of business to be thriving in Rome, New York. I know what a lot of you are thinking. Rome sounds very familiar to the actual city of Italy, Rome, Italy. If you're thinking that, that is because Rome is actually named after Rome, Italy. If you've ever been to Rome, some of the spots are very Italian, and we actually have our own place called Little Italy. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed my speech, and I wish you the best of luck throughout the semester. Thank you.